All right then, good afternoon folks. We head into US trade on Tuesday the 24th of October. Um, we'll have a look across markets to see what is going on. Really there's a lack of fresh um, fresh headlines. It's a bit on the economic calendar, which we'll have a look at the minute. Um, we've had a bit of dollar upside. Well, again, dollar upside, dollar upside, stock upside, yield upside. So you imagine something has to break soon. We'll have a bit of a look at that once we get around the charts. But ultimately we spoke about m much of this um much of this sort of stuff i mean sterling edges up as grim day they're not as bad as eurozone survey i mean edged up against the euro so you gotta be um you gotta be slightly slightly cautious about some of these some of these um some of these releases sterling pretty weak across the board today not having the best of days uh wall street's main index was set to open higher as a sell-off in u.s treasuries eased on tuesday did still still sell off and yields have pushed higher so um shares of general electric and coca-cola surged on upbeat forecasts so upbeat forecasts earnings in focus upbeat earnings expected throughout the duration of this week major tech stocks as well out this week so you have to imagine i mean what does that mean for stocks though you got i mean i I don't really know, to be honest with you. I'm mean, a bit confused in markets, I think, this week. Like, on one hand, you know, looking at things yesterday, and I still stick to, stick to what, what the video said yesterday. I mean, it's like you've got strong GDP to come out this week. Strong GDP will result in strong earnings. Therefore, Fed likely to keep the foot on the gas in terms of interest rate hikes. You know, stocks grinding higher, but they're not exactly grinding higher at any sort of pace. As I said, the word grinding. They're not really moving higher at any any sort of aggressive pace. It's kind of just a pullback against against last week. That's really do I buy the moves? I'm not so sure, but it's a bit of a bit of a confusing one so far. You jump across here and what you see stock indexes. European stock indexes started to turn negative in recent trade, but US indexes higher across the board. Asia Pacific indexes higher across the board, and that is in line with yields certainly across the u.s higher all the way across the curve you look at the u.s dollar strong across the board by your aussie and your kiwi the comments from the rba out this morning that they were in fact going to hike interest rates if uh, inflation continued to persist they do have inflation figures out overnight is that a bit of a front runner for some comments tonight i think that's what markets are probably running with at the moment but euro sterling got whacked or have been whacked in today's session due to the fact that we have had weak eurozone and uk economic data this morning you can see unemployment rate ticked slightly lower from 4.3 to 4.2 but other figures have driven the price of sterling lower consumer confidence as we alluded to this morning consensus minus 26 versus an actual minus 28 got some french manufacturing pmis negative German manufacturing PMI is slightly a bit, uh, higher than consensus, slightly higher than previous, but ultimately still below that 50, so still a negative figure. Services PMI below previous, below consensus, also below 50, negative number from, uh, from Germany. Manufacturing PMI in the Eurozone, weak services, weak. Manufacturing PMI in the UK, slightly above consensus, but ultimately still a weak figure. Services PMI below consensus, below previous. Business optimism, negative. Industrial trends. Orders negative. There's a raft of negative data across the board this morning in Europe and the UK, which has caused this solid downside in euro, solid downside in sterling. That has dragged the US dollar higher somewhat across the board. Obviously, none of them are as aggressive as euro and sterling, but ultimately, they are the driving factors in this, these moves today. Is, is it really dollar strength or is it just a bit of euro weakness? Remains to be seen. It's not really widespread across your Aussie, your Kiwi. The US dollar does take center stage when it does get moving. Well, obviously some comments from RBA's Bullock earlier on suggesting what I had just suggested. Yields, not sure really what they want to do. They're a bit of a sell-off at the open, as you can see here this morning. Uh, then had a bit of a pushback higher. And now are just struggling a little bit. Um, ten, the two-year kind of grinding higher, but oil continues its move lower. Oil tries to tries to push lower, a bit of an aggressive move, uh, breaking through the lows. A good dollar, dollar twenty worth of movement over the course of this hourly candle so far. Gold chopping around the recent trade had a bit of a move to the downside with that move to the top side and yields. Yields chopping sideways, gold chopping sideways at the moment. So nothing to see there at the moment. Stocks popping higher, a little bit of a pop higher in the open, they're kind of grinding higher. Um 
grinding higher, you see yields popping higher slightly, US dollar popping higher, equities going higher, and yeah, it's not really a situation that is going to last too long, I don't think, so I think something has to fold, is that US dollar and yields taking a turn to the downside, or is that stocks taking a turn to the downside, obviously vice versa, if the opposite happens, so markets disjointed so far this week, and certainly so far today, tricky trading conditions, not sure jumping into any big positions is the way to go and you said earlier on you have an idea maybe start small you build into it if you want ultimately there's a lack of direction a lack of clear direction across markets over the course of today it's important you recognize that and don't go losing a bunch of percent <laughs>